It's a new year and a new you. Circuit training is the perfect workout for a busy schedule. And today's workout is designed to help you get fit in 2015. Let's get started. All right, let's get this circuit training workout in. I have Madie and Danny to help us go through the workout. So we're gonna start with an easy jog. All right, so this whole first part of the workout is gonna be your warm up and your dynamics. Really get your muscles opened up and get that warmth going through the joints and the muscles, all right? So the first one we're gonna go through is a jumping jack. So let's go right into a jumping jack, open up the arms. Remember, long arms is great for this because it gets the shoulders moving. Okay, off the balls of your feet. Remember, you can always modify. Danny will show some of the modifications today, but you can modify any one of these moves, okay? So you can go right into that modification. No biggie. Looking good. Keep working. Love it, ladies. I'm ready for this. Woo! You better be. Let's go back into a jog. And now to up it a little bit for the jog this time, we're gonna go into a butt kick. So kick your heels as close to your glutes as you can get them. All right, and remember, you gotta keep your arms moving somewhat. All right, that's important. Keep a little tension in those shoulders, moving it back and forth. Beautiful, okay. Next dynamic move is gonna be the gate swing, my favorite. So starting with your feet together, you're gonna jump out, bring the knees apart, Oh, press, get that stretch, jump in and right back out. And you can modify this one too without the jump. You can just stay in place, just like Danny, good. That's it, and you don't have to go deep. If your knees are sensitive, good. Back and forth, big stretch, yeah, good. You're looking good, awesome, get that stretch. And you can get that stretch too, Danny, don't be afraid. You gotta push those knees out, sis, you gotta get that stretch. This is for that inner groin, to so get the quads warmed up, doing good. Last couple, three, two, let's get one more and relax. Okay, now we're going into that jog again, but this time we're gonna add a little high knee. So now I want you to lift those knees up. So before it was your heels were up. Now your knees are up. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> good. I'm already like, oh, oh my God. No, we're doing good, we're doing good. You guys are looking great. Good, just keep that energy high, you got it. Get fit, baby, get fit. Okay, now third move, I'm gonna bring the heart rate down a little bit. Overhead side bend. So reach up over the top, back and forth. Really reach now. Remember, you want to get long here. So don't just like crush yourself with the side. Really reach so you get longer. We all want a couple inches of, of height, don't we? Yeah. We well, gotta lengthen that spine. Good, back and forth. You look great. Good. This is a good time for you to catch your breath a little bit. Dynamic stretches are the best way to warm up. Static stretches are way better for the end. So we're gonna save those for the end. All right, back into our jog, whoo baby. All right, so this one's just regular jog. You can move your arms around. You can do the, you know, fun aerobics if you want to. Just a nice, easy jog. So cardio is really important. A lot of people feel like they gotta handcuff themselves to the treadmill. Not the case, my heart rate is up. All right, you guys, the heart rates are up. We're doing it right here in the living room. Keep it going. Now the next move we wanna do is a twist. So I want those feet wide for this. And we're gonna get a nice twist through the trunk. Back and forth. Pull your belly in tight. Now don't let your hips stand still. You wanna twist your hips. That's why our foot is gonna pivot here. Allow your foot to pivot. A lot of people just stay here. It's like, that's putting some strain on your back. You wanna really lengthen and pull those shoulder blades apart. Yes. Pull them apart, open it up. Back and forth. Good, a couple more. This is one of my favorites. You guys feel that stretch to your back? You gotta get it through the obliques too. Really need these kinds of moves, you guys, before you start going into a lot of dynamic exercises. Good, and relax. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, back into our jog. Now, butt kicks this time again. All right, so now, I want you to get aggressive. Unless you need to modify this, you are like an Olympic sprinter, and you're ready to take off running. Come on, come on. I know that you got some speed in you. Come on, that's it. Oh, man, woo, couple more, boom, boom, boom. And okay, so the next move we're gonna do is a little racer arm. So as we're talking about running, this move 
I call the racer arms because you know what? A lot of times we do some shoulder raises, some sh circles or whatnot. This gets the joint so lubricated that you're not gonna have as much impingement in your shoulders. You're gonna be really ready for push-ups, dips, overhead exercises. So don't take this one too lightly. Ladies can move a little faster. That's what I'm talking, these are racer arms. What if you were running in place right now? Good, breathe, yes, good. So it's all coming from your shoulders. Notice how we're not doing this. This is what a lot of people will do. I want it coming from the shoulder. Good, burn it up, last couple. Three, two, and one. Okay, back into our jog, but guess what? We're going back into our high knees. So get them up, that's it. Pull your abs in too, because this is where you get to work a little bit of those lower abdominals, and you really can get a really good burn in the core and the cardio spikes. Woo, looking good, ladies. Nice job, come on. I know this one's a little more aggressive. You can always jog it out if you need to, but if you can, pick those knees up. Good, last couple of seconds, three. Yes, great point. Two and one. I know, try sprinting with your arms not moving. A little hard to do. Okay, now, we're gonna go into a lateral lunge. So if you have a mat, stand to the middle of your mat, okay? You're gonna take a big wide step out, and you guys can also step in front of your mats if you want. You're gonna go into a lateral lunge, get that stretch, do that inner thigh, then step together and switch. All right. So here, it's just all it is. You don't even have to go low. Honestly, you gotta stick your booty back and you really just gotta get that stretch through the inner thigh. And I do this with my athletes and my regular clients because guys, if you don't stretch out the hamstring and groin, you're prone to injury when you do any kind of bridge, squat jump, or lateral movement. So really sit back. I go all the way down because I'm flexible and I've got that range of motion in my knees, but you don't have to go that deep. It's up to you where you feel it. A couple more seconds. <sighs> Breathe it out. Oh my God, yeah, okay, back. Now that we feel so good, let's get back into the work part. Okay, all right. So we're jogging it out. We have one more move till we bring it to the mat. All right, so with this one, we're gonna do a squat and overhead reach. Now, with your feet hip width apart, we're gonna go down for a squat and we're gonna raise our arms up over the head as we go down and then come up. Now you want your heels to stay on the ground here. You want your chest to stay up as high as possible. Nice, and you don't have to go low. You could go as far as here. What you're doing is warming up your back muscles and you're warming up your lower body. All right, so reach, sit down, and come up. If you don't feel this in your back, then you're not doing it right. So really think about keeping your hips back, your chest up, and that's the key to feel it in your back. Those arms are your resistance. Beautiful, come on. Couple more seconds. I know you can do it, you're looking great. I know this one is like, it looks easy, but it's not. Good, breathe it out. Last one. Yeah, your shoulders, awesome. And relax, okay. We're gonna bring it down to the floor for a minute. All right, so the one leg up push up, this is great to get the hip flexor and those quads. So I want your hands to the inside of your foot. Now Danny, you can show them the modified version. Okay, we're gonna bring that back knee up all the way. This is the most advanced version. We're gonna add little pulses here. Oh yeah, so we're like kinda dropping into that stretch, which makes it more of a dynamic stretch because there's movement involved. Okay, so we're going through that nice deep stretch, nice. Good, couple more, three, two, and let's switch. You can drop that back knee, or if you're very strong, you can switch in that same position. Here we go, up, and then drop, sink it in. Good, remember to breathe here. Get yourself all pumped up for two, that's it, yeah. Get yourself motivated right now. You guys are gonna do a great circuit, and you're gonna feel great. Get those goals ready. Three, two, and one. Now in tabletop position, we're gonna go from tabletop to a down dog. So here, you want your hands under your shoulders, you want your knees under your hips, and they're gonna stay in that position. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up towards the sky, try to press your heels to the floor. You're gonna feel this all through the back of the legs. You should feel it through the hamstring and the calves. And then come back down to the floor. Beautiful, all the way back up, here we go. Awesome. Stretch it, chest to the floor, and back down. Good, one more. Let's go all the way up. Extend those heels down. 
Beautiful. And back to the floor. Now the last one, we're really gonna open up the shoulders and start to get the glutes activated with the reverse bridge. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders. If your hands are turned all the way back, that's the hardest, but you can have them turned to the side. You're gonna press through the heels, come up into a plank. So this is the, the reverse bridge. You got that plank, good. That tabletop. Oh, you feel your shoulders opening up. This is not easy for a lot of people. Now give it a second, relax, go ahead. Okay, shake it out a little bit. You, then you're gonna, you're gonna come right back up, open, giving that muscle the relax, good. Get that shoulder joint opened up, beautiful. Your neck, yeah, find a happy place. Good, last couple seconds, and relax. Are you guys ready to start working? Okay, okay, maybe a little bit more energy from these two, they're like, wait, wait. Okay, we're going into our first circuit. Three moves designed to work upper body, lower body, and core. First one we're gonna start with is a plank and side step. So you can go from the plank on the elbows like Danny, okay, if your wrists are sensitive, or go all the way to the hands. You're gonna take a light step out in front. Good, and then back to the side. So you're keeping your feet together, and then you're taking a step out with one leg at a time. Breathe, pull your belly button in tight. Notice how we're not letting our whole body rock over to the side. We're not letting ourselves shift keeping everything centered, okay? And we're just working on that lateral tap. Boom, back and forth. Looking down, or up? down, thank you, Marie. Look down, let your neck relax. That's it, nice neutral. Burn it, last couple seconds, you guys look good. Three, two, then let's bring it into, we're gonna go into a push-up and rotate. So if you guys wanna modify the push-up, that's okay, but when you do the rotation, go from your toes. Okay, so you're gonna go down for that push-up. Okay, come up into that plank. Rotate, open up towards the sky. Oh, come back down, push-up. Push-up, rotate the other way. So share the love on both sides. Back down, push-up. Exhale on the way up from that push-up. Open, back down. Man, we are working a lot of muscle groups here, right here on the rotation, our shoulder, our back, our obliques, the sides of the body. I'm already tired. Woo! <laughs> Don't tell them that yet. We're not tired yet. Good, you guys look great. One more. Open, good. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. And relax. Way to go, you guys. Now we're gonna flip it over into our bridge. And we're gonna do a single-legged, but if you guys don't have the strength for that, you can do a double-legged bridge. Danny's on that. We're gonna go with one leg up towards the sky, one heel into the floor, lift. All right, and lower. So press through the heel, lift up. You're activating the glute, the hamstring, the low back. Nice job. You guys all right? Good. Remember, all that weight is gonna come through the heel and you're pressing that opposite heel up towards the sky to really lead everything in the right direction. Squeeze at the top and then lower down. Good, awesome. Whew, let's switch after this one, guys, good. Other side, lengthen that out, that feels good, right? That stretch and lift and lower, good. Squeeze at the top. Remember, don't let your belly loose. Keep your abs tight. That's one of the important things too, right guys? Just to keep those abs engaged. I know it's hard and we lose focus because there's a lot to think about. Doing good. Press it up, two more. Let's raise, good, one more. And relax, not too bad, right? One more time through, because this is a circuit, this is what we do. We alternate between the moves so that we get the maximal benefit. So we're back into plank. Let's go with that side tap. Tap it side to side. One and then two. Back and forth. Whew, looking good. Remember what I said about the abs, right? Pull the belly button in. Marie said keep your neck neutral. Keep aware of what you're doing with your body. And keep your breath flowing because it keeps you focused on something other than the burn. Bring it home here, a couple more. Burn. My girls got quiet. That means I know they're working. So you're probably cursing me out right now. Last one, good. Now let's go back into that push-up and rotate. So down for the push-up, let's open towards them and say hello. Hi. Good, back down, push-up. 
Rotate. Good. Keep those hips up. There you go. Don't let those hips drop, ladies. I'm talking to you. Lift. Good. Drop it down. Push up. Look at our backs working on that rotation. And if your wrists are very sensitive, you can do the rotation from your elbows. All right, imagine we did here, and we got to there, and we rotated. Look at that, Danny knows how to mix it up. But that is a challenge, so let's get one more. Rotate, open, good, and relax, okay. We're just burning right through these, okay? One more set of bridges. I know Maddie is ready for water. You guys can get some in a second. Let's go up. Let's get at least eight of these bad boys on each leg. Remember to breathe. This is your first circuit, so it's meant to really get a lot of the big muscle groups working that stabilize us. Good. Breathing it out. You guys look awesome. I love hearing that breath. I know my leg got tired too. I started bending my knee. If you can keep your leg straight, do it. Ready, switch. Other side. Plus, one hamstring is always a little tighter for me. How about you guys? I find that one side's like, ah, what the heck's going on? Me too. Good, breathe it out. It's important to focus on it, that's good. Let's get two more. Lift and lower, last one. Oh, I love it. All right, now, we're down here. What we're gonna do is go into our next circuit, and the first move is gonna be a V extension. So grab one of your weights, okay? You can also grab a nice water bottle or jug or heavy book. So what you're gonna start is on your back. All right, so you're here. You're gonna have the weight reaching up towards the sky. Now, you're gonna extend your arms and your legs at the same time. Danny's modifying with bent knees. We're gonna go all the way down, almost to the floor. Then we're gonna come back together. We're gonna reach our shoulder blades up just a little bit towards the shins, and then right back down. Here's where you really wanna pull your back to the floor. Okay, keep your belly in tight. Reach up, and then back down. If you can only go this far, that's okay. That's totally fine. And then reach up, and then down. This is the full length. This is the hardest, because if your back comes up, you're going too far, okay? So just go as far as you feel comfortable or bend your knees. Good, exhale, bring it up. Woo! Good, and back down. You guys feel the back of your arms burning? God! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Last couple, bring it up, squeeze, and down. All right, pop it up onto your feet, but hold on to your weight. Your resistance is important for this one. We're gonna do a squat and lateral hop, okay? So, say you go into my little squat. You're gonna touch those knees. You're gonna come up and you're gonna just shift laterally. All right, so I'm gonna shift. Oh yeah, back and forth. It's gonna be a little game. If your weight feels too heavy, then just drop the weight. All right, if you don't wanna do the hop, just step and squat. All right, you can always just step and squat. When you add that plyo, it makes it a little bit more of a burn. You get a little bit more power in your legs, but whatever's more safe for you, do that. Breathe it out. I know I'm like sucking wind here, people. Come on, if I can do it, come on, you can do it. Let's go, get fit, baby. Smile through it. Last one. And relax. Now, come back down onto the floor. We're gonna grab, actually guys, grab your weights, and we're gonna do a tricep extension. So, right here, we can go in a kneeling position. You can also do this standing. We're doing a little, nice little seated, okay? Chest is up, booty's back. Look at those flat backs. Oh. Now, elbows are up high. If your elbows are here, it's weird. You won't see if your weights hit the ground, you're in bad form. So pick your elbows up, kick it back, and then in. So back, and in, good. So here, you're just getting those triceps and shoulders, and your back is stabilizing you. Look at how flat. Danny's back is, and she's modifying, so she's going every other arm. Perfect, Danny, thank you. If I forget to give a modification, just look at Danny. <laughs> we did a pre-tutorial. Good, all the way up. Good, and back. You're trying to go straight with the arms. Let's go two more. One, and two. Oh my goodness, I feel that burn. I like it, and I'm starting to sweat here a little bit. Don't worry, come back down on the floor. Grab your one weight. So, we're going back to the V up. Now, this last round you guys kind of expedited. You know the rules, let's go. Lengthen. 
and we're up. That's it, lengthen. Abs are tight, pull the back to the floor. That's it. Big exhale on the way up. Yeah, yeah. If you want to get those lower abs, come on, keep that back down. Whew. Breathe. That's the way. Let's get one more. Ah! And relax, come on up to your feet. Expedited, you know the deal. Let's do this. Squat and lateral hop, go. Down and up. Down and up. Are you getting those elbows to the knees? If you are, awesome. If you aren't, then you must have a limitation and that's okay too. But if you can, let's get down there. Up and down. I just, I know. I love hearing that. I wish I could hear you going, woo! Give me one right now. Woo! That's right. Side to side, come on. Last two. Last one. Oh my gosh. I'm burning on that one. So let's grab our weight. Back down, triceps one more. Okay, this circuit's almost done, you guys. All right, elbows up. Kick it back. You got it. We'll take a little sip of water after this. Good. Lengthen it out. Nice, keep that booty out, chest up. This is what I don't want. Okay, if you have a mirror, try to look at one so you can see your form. Good, elbows are up high. Let's go with one more. Squeeze. Oh, and set those things down. Okay, now, grab a sip of water. We got one more circuit left. You ready? Okay. How can you not have fun working out with these girls? The funnest faces ever. They just always have the smile on. Okay, so our last circuit. Okay, let's bring it up onto our feet. Grab our free weights. Almost forgot where I was for a minute. Okay, so we're gonna go into a split lunge and bicep curl. So with this, okay, you're gonna drop your foot back. Knee drops towards the ground so that, remember this knee's gotta stay in line with that toe. So that's nice and safe. Palms open and let's curl. All right, so squeeze at the top, slowly lower it down. Your butt should be burning. If you need to modify it, come up. Okay, this is okay too. But if you wanna maximize what's working in your lower body, keep yourself low. You're doing great. Breathe it out, come on. I feel drip coming down my forehead right now. Good, last one, squeeze, and switch. Other side, let's drop it down. Palms open, and squeeze, open. <laughs> That's it, That's it. Doing great, squeeze at the top, good. My legs are burning right now. Might fall to the ground in a second. Let's get one more. And come up, nice job. Now, we're gonna do a quick burpee so it's not with the push up, it's with the quick in and out with our legs. So you're on your mat, hip width apart. You're gonna come down to the floor. You can jump or walk your feet out. You're gonna jump or walk them back in. Get your booty low, stand up tall. Here we go. Down, out, in, and up. Yeah, Danny, good. Out. Good, in, and up. Bring it down, out, abs are tight, in, and up. That's an ab move, guys, come on. Come on, legs and abs, and up. Shoulders are supporting you in that push up. So keep your hands right underneath the shoulders. Out, in, and up, one more. Just because I love y'all. Want you to be healthy, 2015. And relax, okay, so rainbow press. Grab one weight. You'll love me for this one, it's kind of a breather. Okay, grab one weight. You're gonna be on one foot if you can. If not, you can go on two, okay? So you're gonna have the weight opposite side of the foot on the ground. Come over to the other side and back. <sighs> Breathe. That's it, cause you're catching your breath from those burpees. Me too. Good, breathe. Back and forth. I'm balancing on one leg, so my shins and my calves are burning right now. You got it, one more. Totally, <laughs> that's it, last one. Good, let's switch sides. Okay, starting on the side, opposite that foot, up and over. And you guys are working your obliques here too, so as you come over, you're gonna feel your sides really working. That's good, you can shift your body weight a little bit. So your obliques gotta stabilize you. 
And your shoulders shall burn a little bit here from that shoulder press. Good. Let's get one more each way. Good. Other side. And relax. Are you guys ready to just kick butt on the last one? Yeah. Okay, grab your split. Grab your weights. She's ready to put her weights down, but we're going into those lunges. So let's go into our lunge. Open palms. Let's go. Open and close. That's it, grand finale here. here you guys are rocking. You guys are rocking. Bring it home here. Good, give me two more on this leg. Get low, get low if you can. And come up, awesome. Other side, get that muscle pump. Ready, open and close. And if you guys were doing bicep curls, if you feel it in your neck, I want you to really squeeze your free weights. Squeeze them so hard, flex your forearms, because if you do that, it's gonna target the muscles in your arms versus your neck. You're compensating with your neck. So squeeze those free weights. Really squeeze them. Boom. One more. Boom. And come up. Okay. Set them down. Oh man, do you love me? I love you. Ready? Let's go down. Down, out, in, and up. What do you think you guys will get like five of these? How many? At least, right? We're already at three. We're almost done. In and up, good. Almost there. I say we do eight. I think that was five, right? Good, six, come on. It's Get Fit 2015. You gotta do it. And up, awesome. All right, shoulder press. Let's do this, grand finale. Stretching is coming soon. To a home near you, ready? Up and over, down, push. Whew. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Fight through it, that's how you get stronger. It's not always easy for me either, right ladies? I fall all the time. You see me do yoga, it's not pretty. Good, but I gotta practice to get better. And so do you. You got it, press. Good, see? Burning everywhere. Let's switch sides so we can leave time for a little stretch. Good, you guys look great. Oh man. If I take my eye off something, so I tend to lose my balance. So if you can find something to look at, you're much better off. Notice how my knee came up a little bit, so I wanted to work my abs a little more. You can always add those little things in if you want to get a little extra. Last one. Can't relax, because I just totally lost my balance. All right, so two stretches I really want to do, because we have about a couple minutes here, really important. One is your quads. So I want you to grab your toe. If you need to hold on to a wall, do it. But when you're doing this stretch, to maximize the hip flexor and quad, I want you to squeeze and flex your booty on that same side. Try to tighten it up as if somebody's gonna, I'm gonna go move here and I'm gonna punch her booty. And she's flexing it so it's solid, hard as a rock. All right, that's what you wanna do. Squeeze and switch. Other side. So right here, squeeze that glute. Squeeze that glute. Really burn and you got it. Nice job. Remember that's gonna open up that hip flexor and that quadricep and that is so, so critical. Keep breathing it out. You got it. Three, two, and one. There's two more stretches now. You're gonna cross the legs. This one I like for the hip and low back. You're gonna slowly roll yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Reach towards those toes or the floor. So nice, right? This is my gift to you guys. Bend the front knee, let the, last, the back leg stay nice and straight. And you should let your butt just kind of stick out. So you can really let your back and your hips open up and your hamstring get that lengthening. And then peel your spine up again. So vertebrae, vertebrae. I almost got tongue twisted there and then switch. So we're gonna peel down each vertebrae at a time. Oh, and if this side is tighter for you like it is for me, you're gonna feel that. Okay, I can almost not get as far. So recognize these imbalances in your body, you guys, so that you can work on it and create balance and they're not gonna have injury. And then roll up nice and slow. Good. Oh man, and there's, okay, now this last one is just killer, it's just great. So I want you to clasp your hands behind your back, point down towards the floor, 
roll your shoulder blades back, pinch your shoulder blades together, really keep your palms pressed together, and even try to pull your hands away from your back a little bit. Oh, that's the way, just like that. Wow. Yeah, good, hold it, hold it, and relax. Okay, now, one of my favorite too is the neck. So just press the heel of your hand down towards the ground and tilt your head away and breathe. Inhale, exhale, and switch sides. You're gonna feel like a bobblehead after this. You're gonna press the heel of the hand down, inhale, uh, exhale, and then feel how light your head feels on your shoulders and have an awesome day. Great job, you guys. Oh, awesome work, okay. awesome work. Awesome. Let's get fit to the fit team. What are your get fit goals for 2015? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.